The Battle of Molino del Rey was one of the bloodiest engagements of the Mexican-American War. It was fought in September 1847 between Mexican forces under General Antonio L. E. Acuto N. against an American force under General Winfield Scott at El Molino, del Rey near Mexico City. Background the Americans were camped south of Mexico City, Scott and Worth's division at Tacubaya, Gideon Johnson Pillow's division at Mixcoic, David D. Twig's division at San Angel, and John A. Quitman's division at San Agustin. On 6 September 1847, Scott ended the armistice following the Battle of Churubusco as negotiations broke down. As it became clear Antonio López de Santarana was preparing to resume fighting. On 7 September, a large number of Mexican horsemen were observed around a group of low, massive stone buildings known as El Molino del Rey or King's Mill. Spread across the distance of this point, they were about 1,000 yards west of the castle at Chapultepec, which itself was about two miles from the gates of Mexico City. A large grove of trees separated the mill from the castle, while the castle's batteries covered the area. General Winfield Scott received reports that the trees masked a foundry for casting cannon, and there were rumors that Antonio López de Santa Ana, leader of both the Mexican government and military, in desperate need of ordnance, was sending out church and convent bells to have them melted down and converted to cannon. Scott ordered General Worth to attack and take the mill, break up the factory, and destroy any munitions found. Molino del Rey was manned by Brigadier Antonio Leon's Oaxaca Brigade, while Brigadier General Francisco Perez manned the Casa Marta, and Brigadier General Simeon Ramirez Brigade with seven guns manned the ditch connecting the two. General Juan Alvarez's 4,000 cavalry waited in reserve at the Hacienda Morales. The National Guard Battalions of Liberty, Union, Cuerretero, and Mina, were commanded by General Leon, and the Brigade of Troops were commanded by General Joaquin Rangel. The 2nd Light Battalion, that of the Fijo the Mexico, and the 1st and 12th Regiments of the Line, with six pieces of artillery, were commanded by General Simeon Ramirez. The 4th Light Battalion and 11th Regiment of the Line were commanded by General Francisco Perez. In the grove of Chapultepec was the reserve 1st and 3D Light Battalions. Battle. At 5.45 a.m. on 8 September, Worth sent an assault column of 500 men, the 8th Infantry led by Major George Wright, down a gently sloping plain against the western end of the buildings. Behind them he placed Colonel Charles F. Smith's Light Battalion and George Cadwallader's Brigade in the center, and to their right was Garland's Brigade and a battery under Captain Simon H. Drum. On the left, attacking the Casa Marta, was Colonel James Duncan's Battery and a brigade commanded by Colonel James S. McIntosh. Major Edwin V. Sumner commanded three squadrons of dragoons on the left flank. Captain Hughes's heavy guns provided support. Major Wright's force came under intense artillery fire, which drove them back, killing 11 of 14 officers. Lt. Carl Miguel Maria Echigaray's 3D Light Infantry launched a counterattack, prompting Worth to send in Captain Ephraim Kirkby Smith's Light Battalion. Similarly, McIntosh's men withdrew in the face of a counterattack, but Duncan's guns forced Perez's men to withdraw from Casa Marta. Worth sent the Voltigeur Regiment and the 11th Infantry into the assault, while Scott sent in the 9th Infantry. General Leon and Carl Lucas Balderage were killed. Brigadier General Meshas Peña y Barragan led two counterattacks, but the Americans were able to force two gates and then fight room to room to take the mill after two hours, but found only a few gun molds. The Casa Marta caught fire and blew up near noon, causing more casualties, but by 1 p.m., the Americans were back where they started. Aftermath Carl Hitchcock called the battle a Pyrrhic victory for the Americans. Scott still needed an assault path into the city, despite the destruction of Molino del Rey. 
preparations began immediately thereafter for the Battle of Chapultepec. Additional reading. Brooks, N.C., A Complete History of the Mexican War. Olqueras, Ramon Al. Apuntas para la Historia de la Guerra entre México y los Estados Unidos. Ramsey, Albert C., The Other Side. The Great Battles of All Nations, Volume 2. Edited by Archibald Wilberforce, 640-644. Peter Fenelon Collier and Son, New York. Annual Reports 1894, War Department Lists Trophy Guns, 2-6-pounders Bronze, 1-4-pounder.